Well, to celebrate this Canada Day long weekend, we brought a chef all the way from our neighbors to the east, Alberta. Chef Paul Schufeld is here. Thanks for coming. Well, thanks for having me. Glad uh, to be here. You are a columnist for the Edmonton Sun and also involved with a, a hospitality group that has several restaurants. Yes, I'm uh, involved with Century Hospitality Group in Edmonton. We've got uh, six different concepts, soon to be seven. We're opening our seventh in September. So. Very good. Yeah, uh, so, busy. <laughs> yeah, busy time of year. I mean, I know the floods have been devastating for uh, your neighbors to the south. Uh, a stampede is coming, so you brought a stampede-inspired uh, couple of treats to yeah, show. Yeah, we had a, we had today. a couple of uh, fun takes. You know, one thing that Stampede is obviously known for is their pancake breakfast. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't want to serve you basic pancakes, but we did uh, a beautiful uh, smoked salmon blini. A blini is a savory pancake. We've got some beautiful preserved lemons on there, a little bit of horseradish and chive creme fraiche, and then some fantastic uh, Alberta smoked salmon. Very nice. Um, yeah, and then the other one that we're going to actually assemble and put together here today is the uh, lobster corn dog. So everyone's sort of been to a fair at some point in their life, I would think, and maybe indulged in a corn dog. Well, mm -hmm. we're taking it to, to the next level and sort of having some fun with it. Okay, a lobster corn dog. You bet. How do we do that? So we need to make our, our hot dog, for lack of a better word. We're mm -hmm. going to make a lobster sausage. So what we've got is a little bit of prawns here, and I've just pureed them in a food processor, and I've added uh, one egg white to that. Okay. The egg white's going to help as a binding agent. Uh, and the thing that the reason we use the prawns is because they actually help to hold everything together. Okay. That uh, you know uh, the lobster doesn't have that same sort of quality. Right. So okay. not cooked the prawns. Not cooked the prawns. The uh, lobster meat is cooked. Okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We're going to add a little bit of flavor in here as well now too. We've got a little bit. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of garlic. Mm. Same thing for our ginger. A little bit of fresh ginger in there. The zest of one lime. About a generous tablespoon of cilantro. Nice. Need some seasoning in there, so a little bit of salt. I'm going to use a little bit of sriracha in there as well, too. So gonna, sriracha. Yeah, it's a uh, chili spice. Hmm. It's got a little bit of garlic, but it's also uh, it's just uh, about a medium heat, sort of, and it's just going to provide a little bit of extra oomph to the dish. And we need a little bit of fat in there so they stay nice and moist. So you could use lard or something like that. But in this case, we actually wanted to use a little bit of bacon. <laughs> so it's going to provide some smokiness. It's going to provide a little bit of flavor in there as I well. I love too. it. Lobster, prawns, bacon. You bet. Lots of fun. Yeah. Okay, so what we want to do now is we're just going to mix this all together like so. We want to make sure everything's distributed evenly. And then we're going to have to... Uh, We've got the egg white in there, but I need a little something more to hold it together. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to make sure that when I'm adding my, my lobster and I'm adding my prawns, I've removed any excess water so I don't have to worry about it being too soggy. Uh, but if, if I'm worried that it's uh, dry at all, I'm going to ju just add a little bit of cornstarch to it. So if you could just pass the cornstarch. I'm going to just do it bit by bit because I want it to hold together, but the last thing I want to do is uh, you know, have this tasting really starchy or gluey. So probably about two tablespoons will do the trick. Okay. And that binds it together without making it uh, too dry. Ex exactly. You're looking for uh, a farce, uh, you know, I hate to use the word paste, but that's almost the way to describe it. Okay. But without it being uh, overly pasty. But at the same time, you, do, you, you can see it's sort of starting to hold together now right, when I'm, right. when I'm uh, pressing it. So we've got our, our farce ready to go. Now we've got to make our sausages. So we've got a, just a basic piece of saran wrap here. I'm going to put a generous tablespoon down. And then I'm just going to fold the saran wrap over. And I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit, hmm. like so. And now I'm just going to give it a roll. Just like so. So this is going to provide my, my casing. Right. So that uh, it's going to hold everything together. And those egg whites are going to cook. The cornstarch is going to cook. And then we're going to, uh, it's all going to come together and hold it in its shape. So I'm going to put this, in, I would put this in hot water, uh, boiling water, just like you'd boil pasta or vegetables. Right. Um, in the water bath, about six minutes, and then right into ice water. So it cools down. Okay. And your end result is going to be this. Oh, so we've got our little our little lobster you Very bet nice. our little lobster hot dogs. And then when we've done that, we're just gonna take it on a nice long skewer like so. We've got some hot fryer oil. I just wanna lightly dust it with flour. Not heavily, just enough so that my uh, corn dog batter is gonna stick. Just tap off the excess like so. 
grab our corn dog batter. Now, oftentimes, if you have a corn dog, it's really thick and heavy. I've made this batter a little bit thinner, so a little more milk and a little more egg than normal. So, so milk and egg. Uh, what else milk, is in there? egg, cornmeal, flour, and then a little bit of baking powder as well. Okay. And a touch of salt, a touch of honey. Okay. Dripping off the excess like so, and then right into the hot fryer oil. And I like using these long sticks like so, so I have a chance to kind of hold on to it right. as the batter starts to cook, so it doesn't fall to the bottom and then stick to the pot. Oh, or, okay. So just like so, and then once it's starting to crisp up like that, we're good. We let that cook for about two to three minutes, and then we've got some delicious uh, lobster corn dogs. Very nice. And uh, we've served it today with a sriracha ketchup because it's a corn dog. You've got to have some ketchup. Right. And we've had some fun with that, and then wasabi mayo there as well too. So very good. A little there wasabi mayo, a little ketchup. Can I have a bite of one of these? Yeah, those? for sure. Perfect. Uh, we have these recipes over on our website, available, uh, web, which is globalnews.ca slash bc. Look for Weekend Morning News under the Watch tab. You'll find all of our Saturday Chef's recipes. Uh, Chef, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Thank Chef you for Paul having Schufeld me. Chef Paul coming all the way from Alberta today. How fast they managed to cook up like wow. so. Hey, it's Lynn. really simple. Yes, yes Jay. Uh, Chef Paul, is there anything now that you guys won't cook at a fair? I mean, it just seems like the sky's the limit. I mean, <laughs> what, what won't you do or what's your next creation? Because that looks amazing. Well, I mean, they seem to be doing countless things. You know, uh, I've seen uh, deep fried butter now and deep oh. fried chocolate bars. Deep fried pretty butter. Much any, pretty much anything I think that you can put in a deep fryer, they're trying to do at a fair. Very so, good. Yeah. Any, right. Anything special up your sleeve? Uh, well, this is one of the secrets that we'll be uh, we'll be doing coming up. But I'll bring you one over, Jay. Thank you, Lynn. It's delicious. Boy, do those look good.